Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Santosh Kumar. Today we are going to discuss on um, HVAC system airflow, CFM analysis. How do we perform CFM analysis for uh, HVAC system like supplier grill, uh, supplier grill tile, and uh, AHU unit? So airflow CFM analysis, we required uh, two tools. One is measuring tape and uh, to measure the area of uh, uh, the supply grill or uh, filters. And the second is anemometer to measure uh, airflow in uh, uh, feet per minute. So let's take simple example of supply air grill, uh, which we commonly use to uh, supply the uh, air condition air in the workstation area, meeting room, uh, conference room, in a common floor. Okay, so for this we required two um, uh, assessment uh, to complete CFM analysis. First, we required area in uh, uh, square feet uh, of supply grill, and the second is airflow in that supply grill uh, in uh, feet per minute. So we know the supply grill uh, uh, dimension is two by two, like two feet by two feet. So the area of uh, supply grill tile is four square feet. And the next part we need to analyze uh, airflow uh, uh, of this supply grill. So for that anemometer is required. So we need to put anemometer in foot per minute settings and we need to perform airflow uh, analysis in five uh, points that is all diagonals and center uh, of supply grill so five area we need to take uh, uh, anemometer readings in a feet per minute so I have listed out the feet per minute five locations uh, airflow uh, in this column and we need to now average the all five readings to get exact CFM which this supply air grill is producing which this supply air grill is producing so average of all five uh, parameters is 167.4 feet per minute now we have got two credentials I mean parameters one is area in square feet four square feet area and another is in this supply grill so after anemometer analysis, the average air flow is 167 foot per minute. Okay, so now we need to calculate CFM. So supplier grill uh, delivered CFM is equal to uh, area in square feet into air flow in feet per minute. So we have four area uh, in uh, four uh, square feet and um, uh, air flow average air flow in foot per minute 167.4 so if we multiply with area into air flow so we'll get CFM so this supply air grill delivered delivering around some 670 CFM so next let's assume the supply air grill which we commonly used in lab data centers uh, where PAC is occupied or uh, hub room critical area where bottom throw uh, is there so where uh, this supply air uh, tiles are uh, provided so again we know uh, we need to perform CFM analysis so we know this area of uh, this uh, supply grill tile also 2 by 2 feet so area is 4 square uh, 4 square feet and uh, anemometer we need to set into feet per minute Again, five readings has been uh, asked to be taken, all diagonal and uh, center of the grill. And uh, let's assume some uh, readings which we have listed out here, five readings. So this reading, we need to average it to get the exact airflow in foot per minute, which this supply grill is providing. That is 262 feet per minute. Again, simply we need to calculate CFM since we have both area in square feet and average air flow in that supply grill tile 262 feet per minute so simply we need to multiply so supply air grill uh, tile is delivering approximate 1048 cfm 
okay so now let's uh, calculate uh, cfm or uh, do cfm analysis for each unit so let's take example of uh, one ahu uh, 50 tr 20000 cfm ahu and uh, let's assume this ahu is uh, uh, running with the fan speed approximately 80% fan speed so in that 80% it needs to deliver 16000 cfm so that is 20 80% uh, of 20000 is 16000 cfm let's do analysis whether this ahu is delivering 60000 and more uh, CFM at the speed of 80%. So for this, again, area we need to uh, map in a square feet. So as we can see in the diagram, so there are three rows, row one, row two, and row three, and each row having four filters, one, two, three, and four. So each area dimensions uh, we have taken in mm, so we have updated here. So the row one uh, height dimension is length dimension is 120 mm and the width is 480 mm and the row two is 480 mm uh, length and the row three also 480 and the width is 480 mm. So now we have area in mm that we need to convert into square feet. So length so initially we need to convert mm to meters so the conversion of mm to meter is meter to uh, millimeter to meter is divided by 1000 so 120 divided by 1000 0.12 meters so width also 480 mm divided by 1000 0.48 meters now we need to calculate area of row 1 filter 1 so this is a row 1 filter 1 so this is a row 1 filter 1 so that is 0 0.12 into 0 0.48 that is 0 0.06 square meter so in row 1 we have four filters namely 1 2 3 4 so simply we need to multiply with filter 1 area into 4 so 0 0.06 into 4 0 0.2304 square meter so now this entire filter section of row 1 area is 0. 2304 square meter so one part you need to take care while mentioning measuring the uh, size of the filter we need to take only filter section area not the aluminium portion okay so next we need to convert 0 0.234 square meter to square feet so the conversion is one square meter is equal to 10.76 square feet so simply 0 0.2304 square meter into 10.76 that is 2.479 square feet so that is uh, for row 1 entire filter section area is 2.479 square feet so we need to carry out for row 2 area also we need to in the same way we need to calculate length width converted into mm to meter and uh, the area of a square meter and number of filters are 4 into 4 square meter from square meter we need to convert to square feet so the uh, row 2 area is 9.916 square feet and a row 3 also 9.916 square feet because the row 2 and the row 3 are uh, the dimensions wise it's common 480 mm 480 mm so that is why area is similar area it is come up so the first portion area calculation completed now we move to the second portion that air flow in feet per minute calculation so for this we required anemometer we need to set anemometer in foot per minute settings and we have taken each filter five readings and we have updated in this worksheet so now we need to average all filter airflow which we have taken so the row one row one filter one this is row one filter one readings so all five readings we have clubbed together divided by five so average we have taken 756 foot per minute which is reading taken by anemometer like this filter two filter three and filter four 
average we have taken 766, 732 and 808 uh, foot per minute respectively. And again, now we need to take an average of row 1 filter, how much it is delivering and simply add filter 1 to filter 4 uh, uh, average readings divided by number of filter 4. So 766 foot per minute is the airflow which is delivered by entire row filter 1 sections. Like this row 2 also we need to calculate. So in the same manner average of filter 1, filter 2, filter 3 and filter 4 and all three four filters added divided by four so 916 foot per minute is a r2 row 2 uh, filter area uh, airflow and a row 3 again we need to calculate it in the same way so now we finished the airflow analysis of all the filters row wise and uh, uh, readings have been averaged to the row 1 2 and 3 so now we completed the analysis. So uh, now we calculate A to CFM. As it is, uh, we have calculated area in square feet. So row 1, row 2, row 3 area has been updated here and uh, airflow in feet per minute. Row 1, row 2, row 3 area uh, airflow. So feet per minute, what we have taken average that has been updated in this uh, uh, column. Okay, this is filter area in square feet that we have already calculated. Now we have area in square feet and uh, airflow in uh, feet per minute. Simply we need to multiply to get the CFM. So row 1 CFM is area in square feet 2.479 square feet and CFM average CFM airflow 760 feet per minute. So 2.479 into 766. 1899 CFM. So row 1 filters is delivering 1899, uh, 1898 CFM. Like this row 2 is delivering 9081 CFM. Row 3 is delivering 8734 CFM. So now complete EH to how much CFM it is delivering. We need to simply add together row 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is coming 19730 CFM. So in this 50 TR 20,000 CFM EH unit at the speed of 80 percent it is delivering 19,713 CFM. Since because all uh, uh, EHUs is nowadays come up with uh, EC fans. So EC fans always deliver more CFM compared to its rated capacity. And also we know the EHU return air is mixed with a small portion 20 to 30 percent of fresh air so that fresh air also is going to add so that is why at the speed of 80 percent it is delivering instead of uh, 16,000 it is delivering more CFM 19,713 CFM so in this if you want to segregate how much fresh air so simply we need to minus 19,713 CFM which is complete return air which is passing through filters into at the speed of it needs to deliver 16,000 CFM. So 19,730 minus 16,000, 3,730 CFM is extra, which is adding in that AHU, that is 19%. So simply we can say like around some approximate 19% of fresh air is mixing with written air power supply. So with this, we can able to calculate, uh, we can able to justify that this AHU unit is delivering required CFM at the fan speed of 80 percent that is 60,000 CFM. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this video is uh, more informative. Thanks for watching. For more videos please subscribe and share.